So we are going to continue looking at ways to rearrange the letters of paintball. Now, let's imagine for a moment that we have two different colors of A and two different colors of L. Those are our two repeated letters. This gives us a nine letter word. We can permute those nine letters, nine ways, nine factorial over zero factorial, which is nine factorial or 362,880. But in doing so, we are able to distinguish between the A's and the L's because they are different colors. In most of these problems, we don't care about the color of the letters, so they are not distinguishable. So we've overcounted. In fact, we've overcounted two factorial ways for the A's and two factorial ways for the L's. So that leaves us with 362,880 divided by 4. So 36 divided by 4 is 9. 4 doesn't go into 2. It does go into 28, and then it goes into the 8 as well. So there are 90,720 ways to rearrange letters in paintball. And this is going to lead us to our general approach for solving letter problems. Step one is to count all the letters. So let's pick a fairly lengthy word as an example. So our word is floxynoxyneopilification. It's actually the estimation that something is worthless. So this was chosen specifically because we've got a lot of letters. It's going to be easier to count. We've got five, one, two, three, four, ten. One, two, three, four, or yeah, fifteen. One, two, three, four, twenty. One, two, three, four, thirty. Thirty-four letters in this word. And now in our next step, it's actually going to be easier if we alphabetize the letters in this word. It'll make it much easier to count how many we have of each. So now that it's alphabetized, we can easily see we've got two A's, four C's, two F's, an H. We can count all of these I's, but now we've got a word. So then step three is to count each letter. So how many A's? How many B's? How many C's do we have here? So we'll want to set that up, say, with tally marks, right? A, B, C, D. We can fill out our language or our alphabet like this. Now that we've got a chart made, we can actually with the spaces, we can fill in all the letters. And with these letters, we can go back to our word here in its alphabetical order and put down the tally marks to count how many we have of each letter. Let me just continue this process till we have the whole word done. Here we go. So now we've got all of these letters counted out. So and I think I actually double counted one of the groups of five above. So now we want to set up our ratio. So this is our final step, or really our next to final step. We just need to do the calculation after setting up the ratio. So this is our step four. The total number of letters in the word was 29. I apologize for miscounting before. And now we compare to our chart here. We have two A's, so that gives us a two factorial down here. Four factorial C's. If we wanted to be really pedantic, we could have all 26 here and have zero factorial B. Zero factorial for every letter that doesn't appear. But we go through what we have 
up above for each letter in the word. Yeah, the one factorials are kind of optional. In a lot of cases, you'll see people leaving them out, but if you really want a rigorous systematic way to attack every problem of this type, just include a factorial for every letter of the alphabet, whether they're one factorial or whether they're zero factorial, and you will eventually get there. So this does give us approximately, this wavy equal sign means approximately equal to, we're gonna get approximately 2.12 times 10 to the 22 possible ways to arrange it. So in other words, there's enough of these that if we arranged one per second, it would take you the amount of time it would take you to figure out every arrangement is about 50,000 times longer than the age of the universe. So this is why we want to use permutations. Because there's a problem like this is going to take far, far less time to do with permutations than to do it by hand. I mean, we just did it. And it's definitely less than 50,000 times the age of the universe to watch this video. So this is the general four step process for doing any problems like these with the words. First, you count all of the letters. And yeah, there's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 29 letters here. Then you alphabetize these letters. You count how many instances you have of each individual letter, set up your ratio, and then finally do your calculation.